Morning, the Revenge Porn Act is already law in North Dakota. It states that if your former partner posts or publishes an image, video, or anything sexual in nature or inappropriate, you can then sue for damages. But so far, the act only deals with adults. So what about minor children? According to the Washington Post's national poll, about 51% of kids under the age of 18 admit to dating. So what happens if one of them publishes or posts something sexual in a public forum? This week, the state Senate voted on one bill dealing with that, and Michaela Lear has more. At the beginning of the year, Senate Bill 2041 was introduced. This bill will be applied for both children of any age and adults regarding the Unauthorized Disclosure of Intimate Images Act. North Dakota already has a criminal law on the Revenge Porn Act, but it only deals with adults. However, many children are in relationships too, and they're underaged. Think of uh, sexting that might take place between, between two consenting individuals and then that relationship deteriorates and an individual with possession of that image shares it in a manner that wasn't anticipated when it was shared initially. So it may have been consensual when it was taken. It may become non-consensual when it is shared beyond that relationship. In Section 3 of the Senate bill, even if the image or video was made in good faith, if it was sent in a way to embarrass or ridicule the other, that counts. And when it comes to children, not all inappropriate photos and videos are made by romantic partners. Parents or legal guardians can be punishable and liable for this. Images of a child won't be penalized unless the photo is used for child pornography. Also, sharing a photo of a minor in a sexual manner or in the nude is not just pornography, it's child pornography, which is illegal to share and even possess, even if the perpetrator is underage as well. Let's say that a girl sends a... Uh an intimate image of herself to her then boyfriend and they break up later and then the boyfriend decides to publish that on the internet, he is not going to be exonerated because he's under 18 or anything like that. He would still face the potential for liability. The last section you will see is the statute of limitations section, which is uh, six years. And this amendment, was, this amendment was put on by the Senate Judiciary Committee. Um, this bill is consistent with the Communications Decency Act of 1996. Voting took place yesterday, and with no hesitation from the council, the bill did pass with a vote of 90 yeas and two nays and two missing. This bill will be enacted August 1st after the governor signs the bill. For KX News, I'm Michaela Lear. According to SciComm.com, at least one in four teens are receiving sexually explicit texts and emails. At least one in seven are sending sexts, and more than one in ten teens are forwarding sexts without consent.